This story comes to us from WJACTV.com out of Pittsburgh. A Pittsburgh police officer is being charged with driving under the influence and leaving the scene of an accident following a crash on November 12th that seriously injured the employee of a local TV station. The police officer has not been taken into custody. Now, police have charged Tariq Jamal Francis with DUI, reckless driving, and child endangerment after he allegedly got behind the wheel of his car, drunk, with his 17-year-old riding shotgun before crashing into a WPXI employee. A Pittsburgh police officer is under investigation tonight, accused of causing a traffic accident while driving drunk. Today, we confirm that Officer Tariq Jamal Francis is off the job without pay until that investigation wraps up. The crash happened here in Plum, near the four-way intersection of Salzburg and North Texas roads. Pittsburgh police officer Tariq Jamal Francis, seen here in uniform during a July interview on the city's YouTube page, allegedly got behind the wheel drunk. Attorney Phil DeLacente represents the female driver who allegedly bore the brunt of the crash. The crash that happened on November 12th, roughly one mile from Jamal Francis' home along New Texas Road. <clears throat> According to police, he rear-ended the Channel 11 staffer and took off and proceeded back up and drove onto the wrong side of the road, hitting the embankment. Police say he kept driving before turning onto Salzburg Road, and that's where he finally pulled over at Boyce Park Drive and called police to report the incident. Now imagine a car uh, stopped at a stop sign, uh, several cars as well in front of it, a Dodge Durango coming up from behind, smashing in to our client's car, uh, causing injury, leaving, uh, hitting an embankment, and then further down the road eventually being found by police. We don't know how fast uh, the Dodge Durango was going at that juncture, uh, but the uh, body injury on the motor vehicle, as well as what our client is suffering now, is substantial. Pittsburgh police tell me Jamal Francis is out, without pay, and on administrative leave. According to the criminal complaint, Jamal Francis kept saying to Plum officers, quote, that he did it and should have got his son a ride to practice. Now, police say Jamal Francis admitted to consuming alcohol but refused a field sobriety test. He agreed to DUI blood draw at Forbes Hospital where police say he smelled of alcohol. They're talking about alcoholic content, of course. They're saying it would appear that he has a lack of remorse, a lack of responsibility. The crash was so severe, his car had to be towed from the area. Okay. The victim's car was damaged as well. Now, WPXI went to Jamal Francis' home trying to get his side of the story, but there was no answer. The officer has not been taken into police custody, but will remain on administrative leave for the time being. Court officials say he will be charged via a summons. The victim continues to undergo treatment for her injuries. That would be the um, employee that he hit. What gets me is he was never taken into custody. He was issued a summons. A summons for a, a possible DUI crash that injured somebody. Now, there's no mistaking that there was a crash. Somebody was injured. He drove on a little bit and then called to report the incident somewhere at a different location, but he was never taken into custody. They said he smelled, you know, of alcoholic beverage, but he was never taken into custody. He was given a summons. It has been reported uh, that it is a Pittsburgh police officer uh, who was inebriated, uh, and uh, at least the alleged charges are going to be of DUI. Uh, we know from the accident report that there was blood taken at the hospital. And this was approximately 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and so this was not a situation where there are not multiple witnesses. This is not a situation that is a whodunit. Uh, it's a situation of clear liability. 
The attorney representing Jamal Francis, James Eugene De Pasquale, tells me, quote, it was an unfortunate incident, and Tariq is in the process of doing everything that he can to make sure it never happens again. Is that because he's a police officer? Because if it was you or I, we'd be handcuffed, put in the back of a police car, and taken in for DUI. But when you're a cop, you just get a summons. Appear before court, buddy. We do not yet know the results of that blood test, but Jamal Francis faces DUI charges and a charge for endangering the welfare of a 17-year-old son who was sitting in the passenger seat. And we could not interview the Pittsburgh police officer allegedly involved in this crash. His attorney tells me he's not available, but again, he did say that he is getting the help that he needs.